fireworks. Everybody loves those eye-popping projectiles. But do you know how they choreograph that fire in the sky? How much does an all-American 4th of July show cost? What are the latest high-tech tools to wow the crowds? How do you pull off a fireworks show indoors? When we think of fireworks, we think of Guy Fawkes, the 4th of July, and of course, New Year. But what is the number one consumer of fireworks in the world? Walt Disney Resorts. Instead of letting loose once a year, all the Disney parks and resorts worldwide light up the sky with an amazing show every night. That means thousands of shows a year, and there's a good reason why fireworks are such a big deal to Mickey and friends. In America, fireworks were only seen on July 4th. It was Walt's idea and vision to have them done every evening as a kiss goodnight, thanking everyone and sharing with them that Walt Disney World really is the most magical place on Earth. But behind all the magic is a lot of hard work. The crew that fires Disney World's current show, Wishes, launches 680 shells every night from a variety of strategic locations. Here we have one of our main sites that we fire off the rooftops in the Magic Kingdom. We have 10 sites here that mirror this shot that frames the castle. And then behind the castle, way in the back, we have our main site where we shoot our large aerial shells. Computers synchronize the bursts of the shells to the music, and the technicians follow along to make sure the timing is right. We are definitely conductors for the show. My partner here uses his arms while we're doing show to uh, watch, the, watch the shots go off. The crowd loves it, but there is much more to Disney's fireworks shows than aerial bursts timed to music. Right now, this spectacular is courtesy of one of America's finest family dynasties. Rosie's famous fireworks in Cincinnati, Ohio, has been making people ooh and ah for over a hundred years. So how did they get to the top of the black powder heap? I thought it was pretty good at it. It was excellent at it. <laughs> so he passed that on to us. The Rosies follow in the footsteps of medieval pyrotechnicians. They still make their fireworks by hand, not with machines. The basic process is always the same, and it starts with mixing metals and other chemicals to make stars. What are stars? They're the bright flashes of color you see in the sky. Think of the pellet-sized balls as sparklers on steroids. More about how the colors are made later on. Next, cut the stars with a priming mixture to make sure they ignite quickly and brightly in the sky. Then surround the stars with black powder and put an airburst fuse and charge in the middle. That's what blows it apart in the air, with enough heat to get those stars sparkling. Below, attach a lifting charge and a launching fuse to send everything skyward. And now you've got your basic fireworks shell. That design would light up as a simple starburst, or keep adding layers of stars, airburst fuses and charges to create a fancier Italian classic, the multi-brake. And once all the shells are built, the Rosies know exactly what to do with them. We like to knock the audience off their, their feet, but you don't want to do it the whole show. You want to show them some beauty. You want to show them, uh, you want them to think about an individual shell, and then you want to rock them. But don't let all of the old world craftsmanship fool you. The family is also firmly in the 21st century. 50 years ago, you used to shoot aerial shells one at a time. Now you shoot a lot of them electronically. You get them up there fast. When you're choreographing fireworks to music, being fast is only half the battle. The timing also needs to be precise. And that's where the Rosie's Magic Fire Chip comes in handy, especially for a big finale. It's very tightly choreographed. We have about 400 shells here that'll fire in three and a half minutes, which up until the introduction of the chip technology was fairly impossible. Standard fuses have slightly different burn rates, and chances are some of those burn rates aren't going to sync up to the music. The Magic Fire Chip has an ignition system 
It's time to the microsecond. See how much you know about these fiery favourites. Some people already know that the Chinese invented black powder and fireworks. But do you know which group of people in China deserves the credit? Was it A, timber workers, B, Taoist monks, or C, the emperor's alchemists? They did more than just meditate. Taoist monks invented black powder about 1,200 years ago, paving the way for fireworks today. Which American declared during the first 4th of July celebration in 1776 that fireworks should be part of all future Independence Day festivities? Was it A. George Washington, B. John Adams, C. Benjamin Franklin, or D, Thomas Jefferson? The answer is B, John Adams. What's America's total 4th of July fireworks bill? A, $100 million, B, $300 million, C, $500 million, or D, $900 million? And the answer is B, $300 million. Some of the bigger shows can burn through half a million dollars in just half an hour. Pyrotechnicians create the colours for aerial explosions by making the stars from a variety of chemicals. So which chemical creates blue stars? Strontium, copper, barium or sodium? The answer is copper stars turn blue Strontium turns the night sky red. Barium makes green. It's time to check out three of the largest fireworks shows on Earth. Thunder over Louisville is the annual fireworks extravaganza that kicks off the Kentucky Derby week. Thunder attracts up to half a million people, making it the largest annual show in America. It's the calling card of the world-famous Sambelli Fireworks International. They use almost 16 tons of explosives. No wonder it's called Thunder. 